Hey everybody, welcome to another 8 Count Boxing Hour. We've got a good hard-hitting fight for you. William Jones and Anthony Ione in a middleweight slugfest from the Albuquerque Convention Center. Right now, let's meet the two fighters, look at the weigh-in, and then we'll go to the action here on the 8 Count Boxing Hour. Okay, we're with Anthony and Leon Ione. A uh, very popular, crowd-pleasing fighter from here in Albuquerque, Anthony. You got uh, got your hands full tomorrow night, taking on kickboxer Will Jones. What do you know about your opponent? Not much. I just met him now on the way and got to take a good look at him. It's going to be a good fight. It's going to be a good, tough fight. I think we're going to put a good audience on him. Yeah, they, uh, the last fight we had in town here was a pretty big crowd, and they, I think they're expecting about the same. So you're going to be fighting in front of a packed house. Uh, well, you were on that last card. Was that was that pretty exciting in front of all those people? Yeah, that was that was really exciting. Kind of nervous team, but I'm getting used to it now. We had a quite a lot of fights now been coming up. Roy's been getting the fights pretty much now, so getting used to the crowd and it's kind of got a butterflies now because we got both Danny's on there. Got Danny Pet Bull and Danny Romero that I think it's gonna bring in a big crowd, bigger crowd than we've had, so that's gonna be really interesting. Okay, what do you do you have any kind of a fight plan for tomorrow night? Just skill. Just a little bit of Get in there and mix it up? Yeah, get in there and play play the game a little bit better than what I've been doing. I've been practicing with Danny, so I'm trying to get a little bit of skill, a little bit of skill, concentration thing going there. Can't get the work for that. Any problem with weights or uh, training? How did your training go? My training went good. It's been going good. The weight went right on. So you're all set, ready to go, huh? We're all set, ready to go, ready to go. El Leon, what do you want to say to the people of Albuquerque? Well, I hope you all get a good show on, good turnout for for the fights. I hope you're all happy with the turnout. Okay, that's the man from Socorro, Anthony El Leon Ion. Thanks a lot, Anthony. Yeah. Will Jones, TNT? That's it, man. All right. Will the thrill, whatever you want to call me now, man. My friends like the thrill, so it doesn't matter, man. Okay. Uh, let's see now. Your record 1-0? 1-0 oh. oh boxing, right? That's right. You, you, you took on a very uh, tricky uh, Robert Hilgen. Yeah. And uh, how was that for, for a welcome to the pro boxing ranks? Oh, man. It was, it was, I was Like I said, I was kind of disappointed with the fight. I had to drop a lot of weight for it. But I got a whole lot of wins, so if I got to fight him again, yeah, I, I think I could do you know, I'm adjusted to the lower weight to me, so, so now I think I got the, uh, Okay, so so you're coming into this fight in the uh, is it middleweight division? Right, 160. Okay, and how, how does that feel as far as weight for you? Uh, it's still, it's still light, but I still like it, though. And now I've, I've, I've got accustomed to it, so now I, I can honestly say I've got some power now, so, so we'll Okay. See. Well, you know, uh, they're expecting a pretty good crowd tomorrow night. Uh, you kind of excited about getting in there and performing for your hometown? Oh, for sure, man. That's, that's the thing. I don't really get a chance to fight here a lot, man. I, I, I kickbox, but there's not many shows out here, so I have to travel a lot to go out and fight. But now I'm really happy to, to come out here in front of a, a hometown crowd, man. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hopefully they'll be behind me, too. So. Now, your opponent, Anthony Ione, is, uh, have you seen him fight, and, and what do you know about him? No, don't know much about him, just from what I've heard, and usually that's the way it always happens, man. I get into a fight, I don't know too much about him, but I'll adjust and do what it takes to win. So. He's kind of a pretty strong fighter. I think he's very different from your first opponent. It's right. going to be a real change in styles. Yeah, you're I, going I to have, think... have to adapt, but maybe this is more suited to you because I think you're more of a power fighter, aren't That's you? That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And from what I saw in the lanes, he didn't look like he was in the greatest shape. Just, I hope he plans on having the, the one of the best fights he's going to have. Hopefully he won't end his career. I won't end his career here, man. So. Okay. You feeling pretty confident? I feel real confident. Okay, and you're in good shape and ready to go, huh? That's the plan. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in shape, man. I'm ready to, to get it on, as they say in the boxing world. All right, Will. All right, uh, man. Anything you want to say to the people of Albuquerque here? Yeah, man, just chill, man, and just prepare to see me fighting for sometime soon a world title fight in kickboxing, man. So, because it's coming up real soon. And peace. Okay, that's Will. The thrill or TNT? Take your choice, that's Jones. It, man. All right, thanks, Will. Will Jones. Will Jones here. Okay, uh, 
Okay, get on the scale, Will, and uh, face me. Thank you. About what is your weight, Will? 165. 160. Carl Will Jones at 169. 169. Who's this supposed to put him? I don't know. Who's in the phone with you? Ion. Uh, Anthony Ion here? Get Ion on the scale. We'll find out. We got Jones at 169. This is the opponent, Anthony Ion. Got Anthony Ion at 170. That's a match. One seventy. Now let's head over to the Albuquerque Convention Center for some exciting boxing. Okay, boxing fans, we're looking now at Anthony El Leon Ion, the man from Socorro, New Mexico, brings a record of three and eight as a professional. And he steps into the ring to face William Jones. This bout will be scheduled for six rounds. These are middleweights, although they are a bit over the middleweight limit. But uh, you see referee Tony Rosales taking a look at Anthony Ione. Make sure the gloves and everything are in order. We're just about ready to get underway here with the action. We're waiting now for William Jones. William Jones from Albuquerque, New Mexico should be entering the ring soon. And I think Ione's in the wrong corner here. <laughs> okay, they're waving him. They're waving him to switch corners here. So Anthony Ione will step into the other corner, and we, we await now William Jones. Dan Cisneros at ringside, everybody. You are watching the 8-Count Boxing Hour here on Community Cable Channel 27 in Albuquerque. And there you see William Jones, TNT or Will the Thrill. Take your pick. He doesn't mind which nickname you use, but he's 1-0. and He won his pro debut against uh, Robert Ilgen here in Albuquerque, so he takes his second professional fight as a boxer. Now he's an exciting kickboxer, but right now you're looking into the corner of William Jones, and we're just about ready to go up to Henry Tafoya. Okay, so the two fighters have been introduced and we are ready to get underway here. The action just about to start. William Jones there you see with the white trunks, the, the exciting kickboxer turned boxer, and his opponent is the rugged powerhouse Anthony Eleon Ion. We're underway now with round one from the Albuquerque Convention Center. And immediately see you see Anthony Ion charging in as a bull. That's his style. Not a whole lot of science to his boxing. He's he's a slugger. We've seen him many times here on the eight count boxing hour. He's real popular in Albuquerque. Oh, and he runs into a right hand from Will Jones. So Anthony Ione charging in. <laughs> now Will Jones stumbles back into the ropes. Ione would like to take advantage of that. Look at Anthony Ione just 
Duck his head and charge in now with some nice body shots from Ione. William Jones trying to get away from the attack here. Anthony Ione, a savage warrior. He just comes in here throwing bombs. Not a whole lot of science behind the boxing of Anthony Ione, but he's a crowd pleaser. The, the fans in New Mexico just love to watch Anthony Ione in action. And they're getting their money's worth already against William Jones, the hard-hitting kickboxer out of Albuquerque. There you see Will Jones trying to go with the body and Ione missing with a big right hand. Ione has decent power. He's, he's really a, a heavy-handed fighter. Uh, three and eight is his record though. He goes in as a warrior and he doesn't mind taking a few shots to give one. And sometimes that may cost him a decision, but he's always a crowd pleaser. Anthony Ione in the black trunks. We're just underway round one, scheduled for six here. Professional boxing coming to you from the Albuquerque Convention Center. Of course, we have a packed house here to see Daniel Pitbull Perez challenge world-ranked uh, Cecil McKenzie and also on the uh, co-main event, Danny Romero in action. Oh, and a big left-hand attempt now by Ione. <laughs> and this is the way Ione fights. There's no tricks. Nothing changes. He'll just come in, kick the doors in, and, and try to knock you out if he can. Now you see Will Jones with some nice counter-punching, trying to throw a kind of an uppercut to the body. There's some uppercuts now from Jones. Oh, and a big right hand missing from Ione. There's a right hand from Will Jones, and he steps out. So a nice move by William Jones here in his professional, his second professional bout as a boxer now. He's highly touted as a kickboxer, but he's trying to get into the world of boxing here. There you see Jones again now trying to take advantage of that big reach advantage he has over his opponent, Anthony Ione. Ione will bob and weave and try to jump out with a hook. You see him again, though. He just sticks his head right in there and fires shots. Now you see Ione pushing Jones back into the ropes here. Anthony Ione, like a bull, just pushing his way in. He has Jones in the corner now, but uh, William Jones trying to fight his way out of the corner. Ione banging to the body, and Jones hanging on now. Ties him up, and referee Tony Rosales will come in and break the two. Anthony Ione in the black trunks. William TNT Jones in the white trunks. There's a good body shot again from Jones, and a left-hand counter by Ione. Rocks Jones, and he kind of steps back. Good matchup here tonight on the eight-count boxing hour. I can just about guarantee a wild slugfist, and that ends round one. So just as advertised, a slugfest from these two fighters, New Mexico's Albuquerque, uh, William Jones, and Socorro Anthony Ione. You look into the corner now of Ione. That's Roy Griego Sr. working the corner. His son, Roy Jr., is on the outside of the ropes. That opening round going pretty much as, as advertised. We look into the corner now of William Jones, his corner man, Richard Belzer, on the, on the inside, and the man on the outside is Johnny Cedillo from Las Lunas, New Mexico. So this is a definite uh, New Mexico rivalry match here. Socorro versus Albuquerque. And a good opening round, a lot of action, a lot to choose from there. The judges can take their pick. Both men landed some heavy, heavy leather in that opening round. And it's hard to imagine this bout going the distance with shots like that being fired throughout. Of course, this bout is uh, scheduled for six rounds. And William Jones ste stepping up to a six-rounder in only his second pro fight after a four-round decision over Albuquerque's Robert Ilgen. So round two underway now. Anthony Ione in the black trunks, Will Jones in the white trunks. And they pick up where they left off now. You can see Ione just trying to get in, and Jones is trying to time him and catch him. Of course, uh, William Jones with that big reach and height advantage. And he would like to catch Ione as he comes in, but that's, that's always easier said than done. Anthony Ione, just a high-pressure fighter, never lets up, and he's always throwing the home run. And there you see him again, just pushing, just bullying his way, bullying his opponent back against the ropes. And if you struggle back with him, it'll wear you out, so uh, <laughs> you, the best way to do it would be probably to stick and move, a little side-to-side -side movement, make uh, Ione charge in and fall off balance. But right now, William Jones willing to stand and trade with Ione. William Jones trying to slug it out with, with the slugger, Anthony Ione. And there you see Ione again. He just, even when they're inside, he continues to fire shots. Tremendous stamina on the part of the little bull from Socorro, Anthony Ione. There you see him again, and again and again. Body shots, comes back with hooks to the head. There's a left hand to the body now. And Will Jones just kind of falling back into the corner. He may be hurt here. He's trying to push Ione off of him, but Anthony Ione will not relent. 
And referee Tony Rosales now comes in there and breaks the two up, brings them back out to the center of the ring. Ione missing with the big left hand. You can see he just about winds up. He doesn't mind if you know it's coming. He's throwing it. He doesn't hide much here. He doesn't work a lot behind the jab, although he will stick the jab in there and then just kind of jump in. Now you see Will Jones again, even being backed up, he continues to throw. Catching Ione now with some nice shots, William Jones. There's the jab now, William Jones with that long reach. There's a big right hand from William Jones now. And Ione back into the ropes, he didn't, he felt the ropes against his back and he pushes his way off of there. He doesn't like being the man against the ropes. He's used to it being the other way around. Anthony Ione in the black trunks. And you can see what I mean by that crowd pleasing style. The fans love him because he's always on the attack. Ooh, and there's a nice jab from Jones, and that's what he needs to do. Time that jab, stick it in there, and move a little bit. He's not really moving much. He's not up on his toes. He's willing to slug, too, William Jones. Powerful fighter. And both men now with left hooks. But Ione is the man throwing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen unanswered punches, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. <laughs> And William Jones is in a world of trouble here. I think he's about due for a, for a standing eight count. And that's exactly what referee Tony Rosales does. He jumps in with a standing eight count, about 20 unanswered punches there. You just can't, you can't stand for that. The referee has to do something. So he gives uh, William Jones the standing eight count and that's gonna hurt him in the scoring. And the bell rings, so that ends the second round. Right at the end of that round, Ione with a barrage of shots, about 20 or so unanswered punches landing from Anthony Ione or being thrown. And you see Will Jones now, now with his head in the, down in the corner. Uh, he does looks a little bit disappointed here. He has his hands full here in this bout, and he was very confident at the pre-fight interview, telling us that he just had full confidence, and he looked at Ione and didn't think he was in top shape and wasn't really ready to face him. But so far, Anthony Ione bringing a lot to William Jones here at the Albuquerque Convention Center. And now we look over into the other corner. It's Anthony Ione, who had a big second round there. He landed a lot of leather and he also scored the standing eight count, so a big round, probably 10-8 for Anthony Ione. And you see his corner man, Roy Grego, kind of working as cheerleader, giving him a little advice here, but everything they're doing so far, working with just, just the brute strength and the determination of Anthony Ione, uh, overcoming that big size and, and uh, height and reach disadvantage. And you see Ione now again, he just kind of does that Joe Frazier, that dip and comes out with the left hook and continues to fire. Jones tried to answer back, but Ione just overpowering him right now. Look at Anthony Ione just digging to the body here. Ione, tremendously powerful today. He is on today. And he runs into a jab, but he doesn't care. Look at that. He just, just kind of bounces off the jab and keeps firing. Jones looking for a place to hide here. William Jones in retreat, and we're not used to seeing that. He's usually the man in charge. But uh, Anthony Ione tonight, very strong. And actually using that, that uh, height disadvantage as an advantage. He's working his way into the body. He's, he's going a lot to the body here. Will Jones now trying to keep his distance. He should be sticking the jab out there. He's just posing and he's letting Ione impose his will. And he should not be doing that. He should be keeping the, the jab. I'd be working it uh, overtime here. And there you see Will Jones now again staggered and he falls back into the corner of Anthony Ione. And Ione just leans on him and fires shots to the body. William Jones just playing into the hands of Ione, and there's, uh, Will Jones was rocked badly again. He just kind of froze, and referee Tony Rosales now giving the second eight count of the bout. So the second standing eight count for William Jones. Look at him hanging on the ropes here. Looks like he's just about had enough. But uh, no, he comes out for more, so. Boy, William Jones really getting himself in, into a deep hole here in scoring-wise. Anthony Ione in command of this bout, and he leaps in with that left hand looking for the knockout. Now William Jones opens up with a little bit of offense, but just not enough to keep Ione off of him. And there you see Jones trying that big uppercut, but no effect at all. Anthony Ione has a chin of iron. I'm telling you, this guy's taking some solid shots from a lot of fighters. No one can hurt this guy. The rock chin of Anthony, I Anthony Ione and William Jones just giving it all he has here, trying to land that big shot and turn this bout around. William Jones has just been unable to hurt Ione. Ione just walks in at will and just kind of marching in, knocking down the door and, and doing whatever he wants here. William Jones just has no answer right so far anyway for, for Anthony Ione. And again, Will Jones in trouble here. And he, 
he needs to get active or he's going to take another standing eight count. Three in one round and this bout's over in New Mexico. And William Jones is just being knocked around the ring here by Anthony Ione. And Leon, Anthony Ione in total command of this one here. William Jones is just staggering around the ring. He has just been punished in this bout. I don't think he's ever faced an opponent like Ione. And now William Jones with some offense. There's a big left hand from Jones. And Ione gets knocked back against the ropes, but he keeps fighting back. Oh, William Jones landed a nice left hand right on the jaw of Ione. And, and really, you'd think he'd be gone. Most, most of Jones' opponents in kickboxing would have been gone from that. But not Anthony Ione, the man with the rock chin from Socorro, New Mexico. So that ends the round, and you see Ione just kind of gingerly walking back to his corner here, not even sitting on a stool, standing up between rounds. Anthony Ione, the man in complete command of this bout to this point, now they bring the stool in for him. <laughs> and uh, Roy Gregor will have him sit down and give him a little instruction here. So uh, another good round for Ione. He had Jones hurt, although at the very end, Jones rocked Ione with a big left hand, and maybe he's found something now. There you see his corner, Richard Belzer and John Cedillo working the corner for Will Jones. Junior. Referee Tony Rosales doing a nice job here as, as referee, one of the fine referees from New Mexico, Tony Rosales. So a good crowd here at the, at the convention center enjoying this one. Boy, this is a middleweight war if I've ever seen one. Anthony Ione and Will Jones. Although Ione has been, been scoring eight counts and really rocking Jones, uh, Jones can, is willing to, to put up a fight, and he's trying to land the big bomb. He's trying to find the one shot that can turn this fight around. This bout is halfway over, though. We've gone through three, scheduled for six. We're in round four now. Anthony Ione in the black trunks, Will Jones in the white trunks. And now you see Jones open up here in this fourth round, and he lands a couple of good shots to the head. And there you go. There goes Jones. Will Jones trying to catch Ione coming in, but Anthony Ione, like I said, nothing changes. Keeps charging in, but right now it's Jones landing all the leather here. Good start for the fourth round for Will Jones, and he has Ione kind of wondering about things, maybe a little bit of a change in the tide. A little bit of change in momentum as Ione came out, and Will Jones was ready to throw some bombs here. Let's see if he can keep it up, though. That's typically the pattern for Ione's fights. He'll come out, and uh, the other fighter will will start fast, but Ione will just wear you down. You see Jones trying to throw that right uppercut, but Ione just takes it, and it's got to be disheartening to his opponents. They land their best shot, and Ione just looks at you like, uh, are you trying to hurt me or what? You know, he <laughs> seems like he doesn't even feel it. Oh, and Ione, I could see that he was trying the right hand, and now he gets one in. You see, he missed the first, but he throws another one immediately, and he catches Will Jones, just clipped him on the chin, and Jones is a little shaky again. William Jones now back against the ropes, and Ione goes to work. This is where Jones cannot afford to be. He needs to slip out here, and that's maybe where he's lacking a little bit in, in the boxing, the transfer from kickboxing. This is where Jones should be slipping out to his left and get back out to the center of the ring, but he's leaning against the ropes, and Ione just goes to work on him. And referee Tony Rosales brings the two out to center ring. And there's Jones with the jab now as Ione just standing still. So Jones, oh, and Jones catches Ione with a good left hand there. Just shakes the head of Anthony Ione. A much better round for Will Jones, although Anthony Ione leaps in with the right hand and he has Jones in retreat again, right back to the same spot. And here's Jones trying to answer back with the left and Ione with a right hand. And these guys are just trading punches here. Not the prettiest fight you ever saw, but it's entertaining. Non-stop bombs away action. Anthony Ione and Will Jones here at the Albuquerque Convention Center. There's the jab now from Jones, which is what he needs to do. He's got to keep throwing that jab, though, but you see he landed it. Now he's backing away. He shouldn't retreat without sticking that jab out there. The guy has a big reach advantage. There's a left hand from Ione. Will Jones just not moving his head. He's just standing still. He looks exhausted. I don't know. Uh, we're in the fourth round here, and he has taken a lot of punishment from Ione. And Ione just tries to reach in with that left, that right uppercut. There's a right hand to the chin of Jones, and Jones staggers back at the bell. So four rounds in the books now, two to go. And there you see William Jones again with his head bowed. 
William Jones uh, suffering a world of punishment here in his bout with Anthony Ione. And again, you see the father and son team of Grego and Grego. That's Roy, Roy Jr. Uh oh, and he's, man, that's more punishment than he's taken from his opponent in this bout. Roy <laughs> Griego <laughs> trying to snap Anthony Ione back to life. I don't know why, though. He's maybe because of that last round, he kind of gave up a little bit, but uh, really fully in command to this point is Anthony Ione, and that's Roy Griego Sr. Trying to shake up Anthony Ione. You can see him now giving him some words of instruction. Grego and Grego, Roy Sr., Roy Jr., working the corner for Anthony Ione here in this bout again. There's some left hands from Grego and a body shot. No, <laughs> Roy Grego trying to wake Ione up, I'll tell you. There he goes again. So Ione, if he hasn't taken punishment in the bout, definitely taking some punishment in the corner there. And he comes out to meet uh, big, tall, and very powerful William Jones. No lack of power from Will Jones, just not busy enough and just not defensive enough to get out of the way of Anthony Ione's onrushing attack. And here you see Ione again now, and who is it? It's Will Jones in retreat and Ione coming forward. There's a good right-left combination now from Jones, and Ione may be hurt here. He lands some solid shots, knocks Ione back. So Will Jones comes out with some power. There's a left hand again to the head of Anthony Ione, but like I was telling you, the man with a rock chin just cannot hurt this man, Anthony Ione. But that's not helping him in the scoring, so Will Jones now starting to get to Ione a little bit. Maybe that's what Roy Grego was worried about in that corner. He did not want Ione letting up, letting his foot off the gas. Again, the left hand now off of that combination ends it with the left hand, William Jones, in the white trunks. But Jones just looks tired. He looks like he's just kind of wearing down a little bit, and Anthony Ione taking the punishment early in the round, but now he's starting to come forward again. No dancing in this bout. You won't see a lot of uh, stick and move tactics. These guys are standing and slugging. Good old fashioned brawl, the brawling tactics of Ione and then William Jones w uh, willing to go along with it. And now Ione just reaching with the, oh, and there's a left hand from Jones and a right hand. William Jones with some heavy scoring. There's a left right combination, another right hand by Will Jones. See if he can keep it up now. He has Ione in a little bit of trouble here. Anthony Ione now unfamiliar with his back to the ropes. Will Jones coming on in this one. There's a right hand from Jones. And again, Will Jones with the left hand. Just shaking the head of Anthony Ione. Man, this, this man has a, a, just a, a, a chin of iron. He is taking bombs from Will Jones. And now Anthony Ione comes out with a right hand. And there he misses with that left. So uh, William Jones coming to life here in this fifth round. And now Ione trying to answer back. He's throwing in combination, but he's having to actually reach up to reach the taller, much taller William Jones. So Will Jones starting quick now, but maybe I hope he's not arm weary already. He landed some tremendous bombs to the head of, of uh, Anthony Ione. And now Ione landing the leather. Jones falls back in the corner. He's hurt. I believe Will Jones is hurt now, and Ione just r the two wrestling around, and here's Ione launching the right hand. We're in round five, scheduled for six. There's a right hand from Jones, and Anthony Ione staggers back. And now Ione back on the attack. Back and forth in this fifth round here. Neither man will just give in. Both men trying to, to just impose their will on the other, but there's a nice body shot from Will Jones. He comes with the right hand, and Ione backs up quick. He definitely felt the sting of that body shot. And now Jones just almost falls over the ropes here. He threw a shot and, and Ione sidestepped him. I don't even think he meant to do that. He st stepped over to the side and Jones just about falls over and hangs onto the top of the ring. And William Jones is just exhausted as you look at him now, sitting on his stool here as we have one round to go in this one, scheduled for six rounds. This has been a beauty. What a fight. William Jones and Anthony Ione putting on a show for the crowd here at the Albuquerque Convention Center. So one round to go, five in the books. I hardly thought it possible these two guys could go the distance in this one, but three more minutes to decide this bout. And of course, Anthony Ione with a big, a big lead on points with the two standing eight counts, but that last round, there was some bombs landed by William Jones. We look into the corner of Anthony Ione again. That's Roy Grego, Roy Grego Jr. One more time, they're gonna give some encouragement to Ione and send him out to do battle with William Jones here on the eight count boxing hour. Hope you're enjoying this one tonight. Heck of a fight, Anthony Ione and William Jones. Whoever wins this one is gonna earn it the hard way. Referee Tony Rosales now just about ready to get the two underway. So hats off to the matchmaker for this one. William Jones and Anthony Ione 
making for a tremendous slugfest here. And the two touch gloves and just look at Ione can barely walk forward and Jones just stands there and waits for him. And now William Jones tries to get things started with the jab here, but coming up way short. Two exhausted fighters here. Both men have been punished in this one. And it looks like just the man with the stronger heart and the, the better stamina uh, may pull this one out. We've, I think uh, William Jones probably needs at least a knockdown, but, but maybe even a knockout to win this bout. He's way behind on points in our, on our scorecard here on the eight count boxing hour. But there you see him now sticking that left jab in there. And there's a good right hand to follow. So William Jones now starting quick. There's a good left hand and a right again from William Jones. And now Jones can't miss with that left hand. I just don't know if he has the stamina to really keep it going here. He needs to sustain the attack. And now I own trying to move out of the way of these punches, you know, for the first time, moving his feet a little bit to get, get out of the way of punches. Anthony Ione, the brawling street fighter out of Socorro, New Mexico. And again, William Jones launching those bombs. He has that big reach advantage. Taking full advantage of it here. And there was a dangerous counter shot by Ione. Maybe Ione trying to sucker Jones in here for one of those bombs. And now you see Ione again with the left hand. And uh, Anthony Ione not charging in like he was doing earlier in the bout. And I think that was working good for him. I don't know why he's decided to stand back and fight at long range with, a, with a, an opponent of such height and reach advantage. I sure wouldn't recommend that. But Ione trying to, trying to do it anyway. And Will Jones glad to oblige. He'll take full advantage of that reach advantage. There he is again. And Ione just staggering around the ring. He's, he's just about had it too. He's taking some punishment, especially in that last round. So two beaten and bruised fighters, but neither man will give in here. Neither man will surrender. They continue to fight, although it looked like Jones was just about out of it there in that second round. But he hung in there, and now he's coming back a little bit. But time running out on William Jones in the white trunks. And now Jones just posing, trying to set up a big finishing knockout punch. And that just comes up short as Ione was backing out. Jones tried the right hand. Now he misses with the left hook. And, and Ione misses with the his own left hook. Oh, and Jones, man, landing a nice one-two combination. Two shots to the head of Ione. So Will Jones is starting to land some heavy leather. There's a body shot, a right hand to the body. But Ione continues to punch back. And Anthony Ione, he just, he just fires back. He doesn't really care what's going on. He's going to punch. And there he is again with the right hand now, knocking Jones against the corner. Jones back in the corner again. Familiar territory for Will Jones in this bout. And that ends this fight. What a grueling match. I didn't think it would go the distance, but it does. An exhausted William Jones in his corner. Look at him. And Anthony Ione in the other corner also just staggering back to his corner. So these two men gave it all they had. So maybe not the most artistic boxing match you ever saw, but definitely a memorable one as these two guys have put on a great performance. Anthony Ione coming into this bout at three and eight as a professional and his opponent, Will Jones, in only his second bout, one and oh. And uh, on our scorecard here, we have, uh, we have a victory for Ione, but it's up to the, the three judges at ringside. They have the final say and Will Jones did come back in those final rounds, but I just don't see how he can overcome the, the scoring done by Anthony Ione in the early rounds, but that again is up to the three judges. So a slugfest for you here on the eight count boxing hour. It turned out to be a good match. Sometimes these undercard bouts turn out to be the best fights of the night, and this one was certainly one to remember. And there you see Anthony Ione now with a gesture of good sportsmanship going over to Will Jones. And I think Will Jones just left everything he had in the ring. He, he looks just totally exhausted, and he did take a lot of punishment in this one. He had to be in tremendous condition to absorb that much punishment from his opponent, Anthony Ione. But he did go the full six rounds, only his second pro fight. And we'll see. Um, maybe they're hoping that uh, a miracle that they could get the decision here, but I just don't see how. And we're just about ready now to go up to the ring announcer. That's the one and only KDEF Radio's own Henry Tafoya. So Henry, take it away and tell us who won this one.
So the well-earned victory for Socorro's Anthony Ione. Congratulations, Anthony. He put his heart into it, and he comes out with the victory. Anthony Ione.